Check it out. Just real quick while I'm handling a little bit of business. I wanted to hear this uh, Elwig. That's his name. Elwig. I wanted to hear Elwig's reply. Elwig and the wig outs. Little chat room when niggas wigging out on some dumb shit. I wanted to hear the tears come down the face after the um, joint that me and Shorty, the spaces, the joint that we just did. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everyone that's checking it. You know, a humble little amount of views, but for me and my little fuck around channel, that's actually a lot of views if you believe it. It's touching like, I don't know, 600 or anything. Yeah, ooh. But um, this nigga's delusional, B. Talking about uh, this delusion. This delusion is crazy. Talking about uh, I'm a dweeb and this and that, and yada yada. You just don't realize you're a herd. I know that's not a negative word to you. Pick up context, please. I know you're slow. Pick it up by context. You're a fucking herd. I'm from New York, and I'm not even one of the biggest um. Oh, I'm from New York, we New Yorkers, we them niggas, da 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 Because to tell the truth, a big trait amongst New Yorkers is we, we really don't fuck with each other like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be at each other's neck. So it's like when niggas speak all that New York pride, fuck all that. But at the same time, um, we do set trends. We do have a certain speed, a certain acuity, just a certain rhythm, circadian rhythm, if you will. Just a certain uh, way that we get down that sets the trends and leads culture. And that's real. So... Anybody and all y'all niggas from New York or tri state area, I could reply and answer if this nigga is a herb or not. You want to talk about who's this, who's cool? You're delusional, dude. You are not cool at all. You are you. I can't say you're a dweeb because a dweeb actually implies a certain level of intellect and you're stupid as a motherfucker, but you are a herb. You're a buster. Motherfucker, you're a sucker ass nigga. Just like a, like niggas will be like looking to scheme or rob you if like they see you in any place that has any sway or rhythm. You're talking about you. You're not wavy. Get that shit out your mind. That's all a delusion. You have a psychosis. You have a problem. Of thinking that you have any type of rhythm or shit to you. You look and you walk like a herd. You walk hunched over and shit. You, you have like this, I don't know, just, just this whack like ain't shit thing about you. However, you have the ability to do this, right? Check it out. You have the ability to do this. Hunch over. Let's say there's a microphone. Your own microphone. And the whole story is told. This hunch over shit. Y'all know the picture. You mouth off and you mouth off and try to act like you got something popping But the actual imagery of you when you're doing that says everything I don't got that, I'm not a herd I'm a real cat, I'm a thorough cat, people don't fuck with me You know that, that's why you don't want to fuck with me You talking all this fight shit and this nigga, all these niggas are short and everything The only nigga that's tall is Steez But uh, that's why I want to bust his ass, no skipping right over me I tower over motherfucking Steez And you know I fucking tower over Steez, but you don't got shit for me You'll do all this shit from a distance Fake pictures and put up moms and all this other type of shit from a distance. But then when I'm actually close, what do you and your bitch do? Your ugly bitch, by the way. You call the fucking cops. He called the fucking cops on us last time we were rolling out this motherfucker. Right? You fucking bitch ass nigga. You do not fucking want it. We already understand that. But then shut the fuck up then. That's all you got to do. We already know you don't want it. Shut the fuck up. And no, I don't be like extra mad or nothing. I just got that, you know, natural scowl in it because I'm happy as a motherfucker all the time. But I will fuck you the fuck, bang, elbow. Just like fuck your whole shit up. I violate your bitch. I talk about stabbing her, doing all types of foul shit to that bitch. You even stepping the least bit out of line at me and mine, you know I'll be on your ass. I'll attack you. I dare you to do some shit like that. Okay, the shit yesterday, uh, Clifton had the domestic violence. List. Fuck all that. Where did sense uh, really apply to anything with you? You are a shithead. Everything still stands. Fuck making sense. How about me busting your motherfucking ass and you cowering down? You cowered the fuck down. I told you, take her moms off the shit. You took her moms off the shit like the fucking little bitch that I already sent you the fuck to be. Talking all this, oh, you want this? You were sweating the shit out of me ever since I touched the whole dust ball scene. Your dust ball scene, 2017 or whatever, you were sweating me ever since. You're fucking hurt that I ain't fucking with you. And then you try to psychologically flip it. Oh, he's mad, but he I don't give a fuck about you. I ain't thinking about you. I'm busting your ass in music. Oh, you only getting views because it's against me. You're fucking delusional. 
You are a herb. You are a motherfucking bitch. Fuck out of here. And you're fucking shook me. I'm still on your ass. How about that? Hmm? I'm making the most noise on your ass. Causing the most waves, Mr. Wavy Man. Ready for it. And what do you do? You don't even want to talk about it. You talk some old sideways shit. Oh, you da 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 da. When it comes to that getting busy, I don't hear shit about that jab and this and that. I'm asking for all that shit. What's popping? I'm asking for all that shit. I hope your mom's is well. I hope your mom's does get better. That in itself on its own. But one of the things of that is so you can bring your ass back southward and boom, fucking faggot. 